Okay, everybody, we're back here at the 38 Songwriters Festival. I'm with Raylan Nelson, and it's the Raylan Nelson Band. So tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing. You really rock. Thank you so much. So um, basically, what it, we've been told is country garage rock. So um, I'm kind of the country in the band, and then the band guys are all rock and roll. And so it's kind of a hybrid of old country and cheap trick or big star you know it kind of gave me like a darlings bill oh yeah yeah oh, i love that i love that are they one of your biggest inspirations the darlings yeah they're cool so who are some of the people now obviously you come from a music family but what what are some of the people that like influence you what drives you to write like what do you really what gets you into that artist mode um basically situations in life uh spark ideas for me to write songs little bitty things, even TV shows I'm watching, regular everyday situations, you know. Somebody will say something funny and I say, that should be a song, you know, and then just kind of get into that mode. Have you ever had that awkward moment where a friend was like, did you write that about me? Is that my personal business? I have, um, yeah, I have an acoustic band that I do with my friend Hannah Fairlight. It's called Mm-hmm, and we actually have a song that a friend of ours knew it was about her and got kind of upset and we're... We, oh, here I, here I go. We lied and said that it was about me instead of her. Um, so anyway, so she asked. It's not about her. You should have said you're welcome. <laughs> when she asked you, you should have been like, you're welcome. She was pretty upset. Yeah. But anyway. So someone in the audience knew that I was going to interview you, and they wanted me to ask you if that was your grandfather's bandana. Yes. He gave me this bandana. Um, the Papa Willie ones are hit him that he gives me. Um, uh He's so cool. He lets us get up and sing the gospel set with him at his shows. So uh, every time, he, he always has bandanas so he throws out into the crowd, and he'll give me a new one. This one's actually a, an older one that I have. It's got holes in it and stuff. See, those are the good ones. <laughs> That's when you're like, this bandana has been through some stuff. <laughs> and I give them away sometimes when people are like, I've never gotten a Willie bandana, and then I'll just give them mine, you know, because he'll give me another one. That's really sweet. So holidays with your family, did you guys like just sit around and like rock out? And My grandpa is, on holidays he rests, you know, he um, he takes it, I mean it's like a week or something that he rests because ACL does a New Year's Eve bash and he sings for three days. So he's resting during that time and I'm based in Nashville, so I, um, I don't usually go to Texas or Maui, sometimes he's in Maui for Christmas. Yeah. But um, I'm sure he's rocking out there or resting, hopefully. <laughs> but there's no rest to be. No, no. <laughs> so what's, like, the most interesting thing about your music that you wish you could, like, let people know more of? Like, this is me. This is my brand. Like, what is it that you want your fans and followers to know the most about you? Um, let's see. We, we come from a... We're just us, you know? We're like, every time I get nervous, I just think, just let's just do our thing, let's be us. So everything that we do comes from us individually. We are ourselves, and it's just a cool hybrid of our personalities. And experiences in writing the songs. JB and I both write the songs together. So, and I bring the country aspect, he brings the rock and roll aspect, and um, I enjoy it. I love moving around and dancing. I don't like people being sad. I want people to be up and happy. So I guess the main thing to people, to leave with people when we play a show is just to have a good time and party and, you know, just ex celebrate life because there's so many things to celebrate. You know, you're right. You really have to count your blessings and be happy about the positive. In the times like these that we live in, there's a lot of negative and we should celebrate as much as possible. So I, I don't want to leave anybody sad. I want to leave people dancing and having a good time. So, yeah, good time. I guess that's what we leave everyone with a good time. Well, you guys all need to check her out. Tell them where they can find all your stuff. RaylanNelsonBand.com, R-A-E-L-Y-N-N-E-L-S-O-N <laughs> band. And on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of those social media platforms. 
All right, guys. So this is Raylan Nelson, Raylan Nelson Band. It's been an awesome interview. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. Yes. And I will see you in Nashville. Yes. Yeah, I will. We'll hang out. All right, guys. All the cool spots. Yeah. I bet you know places. I don't know. Yeah, we have. We can get the key to the city and go to all the secret places. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. Stay tuned for the 38 Songwriters Fest. This is Courtney Bird. Thank you.